Don't be alarmed. I'm from the future. I come from the year 21, 20, and I'm your great grandson. I need your help. What? Yes, I traveled 100 years into the past to ask for your help. You scared the living daylights out of me. Living daylights? What, what does that mean? You, you lost me. Yeah, it means you scared me suddenly or severely. Okay, never heard that expression before. You said you needed my help with something? Yes, the Earth has been taken over by aliens, and I've been tasked with teaching them English since their language is too difficult for humans to understand. I'd love to lend a hand, but I'm not sure what I can do to help. Uh, lend a hand? How is cutting your hand off and giving it to me going to help? No, no, no. It means to help or assist. Uh, okay. Look. I specifically came to the year 2020 because I know there's a pandemic and you're under lockdown. You have all the time in the world to help me. I need you to shoot and edit videos for me. Sure, I can edit your videos, but like you said, I'm under lockdown, so I can't go out and shoot the videos. Not a problem. I'll travel to 2021 and future you can take the videos and you can edit the videos. And I'll even allow you guys to communicate on your walkie-talkies. Our walkie-talkies? Yeah, that thing you're holding right now. That's not a walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkies are portable two-way radios. Sorry. Our history books are not exactly very accurate ever since the Amazon Google War of 2082. So I don't know what that thing is called. It's called an iPhone. Whatever. All I need you guys to do is have real everyday conversations. Future you is going to be walking and talking, so I'm still going to call those walkie-talkies, and I'm going to post the videos every Wednesday. Okie dokie. What? It means okay. Then why not just say... Never mind. I'm going to go to 2021 right now, and when I get there, I'm going to give you something else. A few moments later... I was beginning to think you weren't going to come, but lo and behold, there you are. Lo and behold? What, is, what does that mean? Yeah, it's used to express wonder or surprise. Okay, moving on. I'm going to give you an invisible flying camera that's going to follow you around. I'm going to take the footage from that video and I'm going to teach about your environment, everything around you in your environment. A flying camera? I'll believe it when I see it. It's invisible. You won't be able to see it. I don't understand what you mean. I'll believe it when I see it means that I need to witness it or see proof that it exists before I'll believe it. Believe it or not, the camera is going to be following you. Oh, I see the expression believe it or not is still used in the future. It means surprising but true. Okay, I'll take a leap of faith on this. I'll trust you. A uh, leap of faith? What? What? What is a leap of faith? Uh... Yeah, it means I'll do something even though I'm not sure it's right or that I'll succeed. Great. I'll review the footage every Friday. Okay, but don't call it something stupid like Futuristic Friday. <laughs> You're a bit of a motormouth, aren't you? A motormouth? Yeah, sometimes I talk too much. Oh, I can do a live stream on Mondays to review what was taught on Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> yeah, and we'll call it Motor Mouth Monday. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice. I see they haven't cured baldness in the future. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell for notification. And of course, subscribe to the channel by hitting my face. Not this one, that one.
Thanks again, guys. Make sure you show some love down in the comment section. Peace.